and I was trying to think what I had for angle iron and this piece of galvanized trailer tongue here is 96 inches long if I cut the pieces of my cross and split them four times one two three four it would give me four pieces of angle iron of equal length galvanized steel not prone to rust probably outlast well absolutely will outlast me and I could space them out and weld them back together to get the width and everything of the cross and then it would all be built of the same metal and then I could uh, what's the word I'm looking for I could I could cover that in that nice shiny tin and put lights inside after this is all spread out it's going to involve a lot of grinding and welding but I think that's what I'm doing today next it's gonna be my next project today oh the joy uh, I may be about ready to set up a place to cut that metal and I'm thinking about doing it out back but I suppose I could do it right here in the garage. let me go see how many yellow jacket nests they built inside that Another good thing about this, it ain't too too heavy. Might be a good thing. If I work that in there, I can be inside the shade. I could raise up my little mid-rise auto lift. I was thinking about it'd be nice to have something flat to make the cuts on and make the welds on. That might be about as close as I can get. I do have a big sheet of steel in the back of the truck I could lay down. I might consider that too. I need to do some cleaning up here and I ain't had breakfast yet either, so I got a few things going on. This is the point where I start doing some cutting. Oh, uh, probably want a fresh grinder blade pretty soon. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll start off with a fresh blade. I'm trying to make these really straight cuts. Uh, maybe I should talk a little bit about what I'm doing. Or what I'm attempting to do. So, this is going to be each one of these pieces that I'm about to cut is going to be split four times. So this is the length of the cross from here to here. Y'all see that even? This is the length of the cross from here to here. Now this piece here is three inches by three inches. That is six inches by a foot. So that means that cross needs to grow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my 37 inches, split it this way, split the other side, and split both sides. I've marked where the arms of the cross start here and here and then I'm going to cut a piece that goes across the full uh, bar of the cross here which is going to be oh about 24 inches which I will take out of this part up here and I will also split it four ways I'll have it cross each one of these pieces after they're spread out and I'm it might not be possible to exactly explain how I'm going to spread it out, but it might be one of those things you just have to watch as we go along and see how it goes. It's going to be a bit of a, uh, a, bit of a uh, piece of crafting to try to get it all straight and right, but I'm going to do the best I can with the skills the good Lord gave me. Uh, I mentioned earlier I appreciate the people just say a prayer for me as I start to do this because I really want to do this in a way that will be glorifying to the Lord. So, we'll hope for the best here. As I do the best I can with what I have to work with. Let's see if I can find me a screw to go in that guard. That thing keeps spinning around. It's okay, annoying. I found one, so that should help.